Hey guys, Coach P. Today's workout, I am going to show you how to take your bicep training to a different level, showing you some different exercises than I've shown in previous videos. I add these exercises about every two or three workouts. I'll either add one or two of these exercises in, or I'll supplement these exercises to my normal bicep routine, which you know is barbell, preacher, and dumbbell. I might eliminate the preacher, I might eliminate the barbell, or I might eliminate the dumbbell, but I'm gonna add one or two of these exercises in. And let me tell you, I just did this workout the other day, and my God, my arms were pumped for almost three hours from doing this workout. And I know yours will be too. So let's take this over to the weight room, and we're gonna get this party started. Follow me in. All right, guys. I'm seated on an incline bench and I'm facing the incline pad. We're gonna do spider curls. I'm gonna use an easy bar with a couple of five pound plates on it. The objective of this exercise is to isolate the biceps for peak concentration. You're gonna go all the way down and you're gonna come all the way up. I did this workout the other day and let me tell you something. My biceps were screaming from doing this. And I eliminated doing preacher curls and just did this exercise instead. And it was a huge game changer for me. My pump lasted probably two to three hours after the fact. And my arms were sore for a couple of days afterwards. So watch how I do this exercise. There's no momentum. This is all bicep muscle engagement. Okay, so here's how I do it. With the easy curl bar, I grab an inside grip, okay? And then I come up over the bench. My chest is on the bench and I'm coming down and I'm curling just like this. And I'm squeezing the repetitions at the top. I'm not swinging in this bar. All I'm doing is raising it up, squeezing the biceps, and coming back down, just like this. I'll take this into a high rep range, 20, 25 reps until I can't do anymore. Just like this, totally isolating the bicep muscles. This is a freaking awesome exercise. I honestly think this is probably better than preacher curls, to be honest with you. And I'll probably start incorporating it more in my workouts. A lot of times, I like to superset. So, if I started out with barbell curls, I would come to this and do the spider curls, supersetting them back and forth, whether it's a high rep set or a high rep drop set, doesn't matter. You pick the flavor of the day for yourself with what you wanna do with your workout. But I'm telling you, this is gonna give you that crazy skin split and pump you always hear me talking about. Next exercise I'm going to show you is the proper way to do hammer curls. There's two versions, and I like to show both versions when I work out. I incorporate both. So let's take this over to the dumbbell rack, and um, we'll, get, we'll get it started over there. A lot of times I'll do this for three or four sets, and my biceps are screaming. It's, it's crazy the engagement you get from this exercise. So let's go start some hammer curls. All right, we're gonna do some hammer curls. I got a pair of 15 pound dumbbells. The dumbbells are down at my side and what I'm gonna do is starting with my right arm, I'm gonna raise the dumbbell across my chest and when I get here, I put a twist. This is gonna work the outside of the arm of the brachialis. I control it, squeeze it, twist my wrist and come back down. I'm not using any momentum I'm using all bicep muscle, but I am squeezing every contraction, just like this. Cross the chest, turn that wrist into the body, and come down, just like that. You could drop that set this very easily. I could easily start with 25s, do high reps, and then drop set to the 20s, drop set to the 15s. Really pump your arms up good, especially after the spider curls. The next variation of this exercise is bringing the dumbbell 
up like this and squeezing it up at the top. A lot of people do this. It's not wrong. Sometimes I do it. But I'm more of the straight up and down curling action like this. This really gives a really good squeeze at the top of the biceps. So you got those two, actually three variations of hammer curls. Next exercise we're gonna do are drag curls. Very effective, a lot of people don't do them and if they do them, they're not doing them correctly. So I'm gonna show you what drag curls are. So follow me over to the next station. All right guys, we're gonna do drag curls. I'm gonna demonstrate with a 20 pound bar. What you see a lot of people doing is this, doing drag curls. That's not right. This is not the right movement. Drag curls, you wanna keep your elbows to your side. And it's not a curl going up, it's a curl going into the body. You're dragging this barbell up against your body like this. And you're squeezing the biceps at the top. All the way up, squeezing here, keeping the elbows in as tight as you can, coming down and let the bar go all the way down, elongating and stretching the biceps. You're gonna come up, go down, up, Squeeze at the top and go down, just like that. And I'm telling you, after you do the drag curls, after you do them hammer curls and the spider curls, your arms are gonna be screaming. I promise you, I just did this workout the other day and my biceps are still sore, okay? The workout I just showed you is something you could do all the time as a, as a basic bicep workout. Honestly, those spider curls are so effective, you could eliminate preacher curls if you want, or you could do two sets of preachers, two sets of spider curls, do a couple of barbell curls, but those spider curls, you are really getting a hard peak contraction from them. I'm telling you, my biceps were screaming for two hours after the fact, I had such a crazy fucking pump. And then the hammer curls, straight up and down and across the body, very effective movement. So if you think your bicep workout is kind of stagnant and you want to throw something into the, into the mix a little bit, I highly recommend doing these exercises. I throw them in every few workouts. And quite honestly, it's probably been a month or so since I did these exercises up until a few days ago. And oh my God, I am going to start incorporating them more so because my biceps were that much sore than my regular bicep workout. And I did four or five sets straight spider curls, starting with a 10, couple of sets of that. Then I ended up sliding a five pounder on it, drop setting the weight a little bit. Then just doing a plain, a, a easy curl Olympic bar. My arms were fried, they were totally fried. And then going into the, the hammer curls and going into the barbell curls. Man, I was fucking toast after that workout. So if it fried my ass, I can guarantee it's gonna fry your ass. Very effective. Any questions, reach out to me. I got training videos. The link is in the description. And um, if you guys have any questions, reach out to me, Championship Muscle. Um, I'll see you guys back in the gym next workout. Peace out.